Hi, I'm Katie. Welcome to the Heart of the Valley YMCA Science Y. In this special two-part series, we're going to compete in a bridge building challenge. We're going to explore how geometry, or the science of shapes pretty much, is used by architects to build buildings that don't collapse. We're going to design our own bridge using popsicle sticks and super glue. And we're going to build one that can withstand the weight of a textbook or something even heavier. A word of warning first. Super glue is going to be used in the second part of this activity. So not today, but the next time. And super glue works super well. And so just keep that in mind because in the next part, we'll start by talking about how to use it safely. But for today, we're going to work with marshmallows. Marshmallows and toothpicks. So we're going to use these to build a prototype. A prototype is like a first draft of a structure and it's designed to test the flaws and the weaknesses and you'll be able to use what you learn there to actually design, draw, and then build your own bridge. Architects go to school for a long time to learn how to design buildings properly. And we're going to learn one really important thing about designing buildings right now and it involves shapes. Notice that the triangle, if I try to bend it out of shape, it will stay a triangle. Unless I snap the sides, that is. But as long as the corners and the sides, as long as they remain intact, it won't change its shape. It can't. A square, on the other hand, isn't so stable. It folds, you see? It folds into a different shape called a rhombus, which is kind of a funny word that means a sideways square type thing. So which shape do you think that architects would prefer if they were building a bridge or a building or something? Triangles or squares? If you're guessing triangles, you would be right. Okay, let's get started. You'll need marshmallows, toothpicks, a pen, and a piece of paper with an arch printed on it. Open up your kits and get those things out. We'll build a prototype with marshmallows and toothpicks together. In the second part, then you'll get your super glue and popsicle sticks and build the real version. So first, let's make a bridge using squares. Start by making a line of squares. Take four marshmallows and push them together, and then take two more marshmallows and put them together to make another set of squares so that you make a chain of them. Elongate that chain until it's four marshmallows long. It should look something like this. Now we're going to make our squares into cubes, which a cube is just a 3D square. So take your toothpicks and stick them straight up in the air and stick your marshmallows on top and connect them to make cubes. Finish the entire bridge that way. Here, I'll show you that one more time. And when you finish, set it down gently because it's kind of fragile right now. Probably you've noticed that the structure is slowly sinking and shifting. See how if I hold mine between my hands, it's slowly sinking downward. That's the squares that are slowly changing their shapes, and we don't want that in a bridge. Architects build bridges so that they stay up and support themselves. They don't want them to slowly sink down. So what could we do to support the structure? Well, we could turn all of our squares into triangles. And we don't even have to take our bridge apart to do that. We could just start with the sides of the bridge, and at every square, just add one more toothpick that crisscrosses the middle to make it into two triangles. So do this along both sides of your bridge. So our bridge is definitely more stable now. You can probably feel that. But I'm still seeing some squashiness where we have some squares. So to finish up, let's make it as sturdy as we can. Find every four-sided shape and add a toothpick to make it a triangle. I say four-sided shape instead of square because at this point, some of our squares may have warped a little bit, but that's okay. When you're done, you'll be able to hold the structure between your palms like a bridge, and probably it won't sink down. Take a few minutes and make those changes, create the best bridge you can, and then 
we'll use what we've learned in this to design and draw our own bridge for part two. Next time you're outside, look around at buildings, especially bridges. See if you can spot all the ways that triangles are used. I bet you'll see a lot more of them now that you know what to look for. Okay, so in the next part, or the next class, you'll get a kit that has super glue and popsicle sticks. And you'll have only 20 minutes to build a bridge that can withstand the weight of a textbook. I've seen some that are even stronger. I've seen some strong enough for a kid to stand on. So just keep that in mind. So the last thing that we'll do today is design our build for next class. For part two, we'll work in pairs. So after listening to these instructions, find a buddy and work together to plan your build. Use the last five minutes of class for that. Use your arch printout to guide you in designing a bridge. Remember that we'll create this one with popsicle sticks and super glue. Use triangles to fill in the arch shape with lines where you'll use the popsicle sticks. So you'll need to use straight lines, of course, because popsicle sticks are, well, pretty straight. Try to use all triangles, that's what I suggest, because remember, they are more stable than squares or something else. Draw the design that you want to create. You can create two of these arches and then connect them across the middle. So remember that next class, you won't have time for design work. It will be all build time. So be prepared. And that's it for this video, but there's more. Check out our website at scienceY.org or email us at scienceY at ymcahuntsville.org.